the question that we've been asked is, uh, say I put an expense into EULA and I want to actually uh, uh, correct it because I made a mistake, how would I go about doing it? So let's first put an expense in EULA. Now, <clears throat> to put an expense in EULA, say, for example, your hydro bill or say your cable bill or something like that, what you would do is you click on action button, go to expense, and you'll choose whether it's a client expense or an office expense. So let's assume now it's an office expense and click on the office expense. There are several categories that we provide for you. So in under office expense, you can have a printer and stationery, photocopiers, gas expense, meals, supplies, travel, uh, say Google advertising. Let's, let's choose that. Say we have a Google advertising and every month, you know, for your business, you're advertising in Google and you know you can choose that uh, that's a category that you created and you say spending hundred dollars okay you can say you know the invoice number 56 and you can say the voucher you can say uh, uh, google adwords okay and then uh, maybe you paid with your uh, credit card okay so you can express that you paid with your credit card and the number is uh, transactions that much so once you do that, if you actually go to your Google advertising account, okay, what you will see is the voucher 56 has been deposited as a debit. Now, at any given point of time, if you notice that, oh, I made a mistake on the amount, you can actually click on the amount. It will come out. You can do an unlock, which is unlock it. So it was actually say two hundred dollars. You can do that, and you can do a submit. Now, what it will do is it will correct that entry as two hundred dollars. So that's how you correct an amount. Now, sometimes maybe you did a complete mistake, and you know, uh, you know, you don't even want to enter this entry, and you want to completely delete it. Now, when you want to delete it in EULA, okay, it's a little bit more intrusive. So you click on the amount you would unlock and you have to make it zero dollars okay when you make it zero dollars notice that the submit button is not coming up the reason is because it believes that you're actually trying to delete this entry and it does not want you to delete it now if you really want to go ahead and delete it you will cancel you click on action go to administrator and enable yourself as an administrator. Now, this way we explicitly make sure that you want to do this action. Now, you'd go back and do the exact same process, click on the $200, unlock, okay, and now change it to $0, and you'll see that the submit button will not go down. So when you do a submit, now what will happen is the entry is completely deleted. So Take an extra step to actually enable yourself as an administrator if you want to completely delete the account entry, but if you want to just manipulate the en uh, entry, you can always go ahead and change it. So to summarize, if you click on the amount, you can actually unlock and you can change it to whatever amount that you want and do a submit, but if you want to actually delete the entry you would make the amount zero dollars and that would completely delete it